Hi, I'm going to show you how to make 3D particles follow a path in Godot. And if you find this helpful, please subscribe. And the source code for this project is in the description. Make sure you give it a star, then go into resources, Godot, and there you will find a folder with the name of this video. So with that, let's dive in. So I got my particle here and how I originally tried doing it was with our animation player and trying to animate the particle, let's say from here to here, the position. And that's not a very smart way of doing it. And it's hard to have the same amount everywhere. So the correct way to do this is with adding a path and you want a path 3D. Add that to your scene and then you want to add a path follow 3D. As a child to the path follow 3D, you want to drag in what you want to follow the path. And in our case, it's the particle. Drag in the particle to the path follow 3D as a child. And now we have to make our path. So up here in the top middle, and you will see that there's select points, there's control points, add points, remove points or delete points and close curve and options so if we go into the top view by hitting y here in the axis we can see it from the top view and let's hit the green one so we can add a point here we can add a point here and let's move and we can add a point here and now when we have made the path we can go into the path follow 3d and on the progress ratio we can drag it and particle will follow the path as you see perfect so this is what we will animate later and this will give a really nice result. And right now the corners on this path is really sharp and if you want to fix that you can go to path 3D and select the point. There seemed to be a bug with 4.3 so I moved back to 4.2 so that's why it may look a little bit different. Basically it was missing a point inside of the points and that point is used for curving the path. So you want to select the point right here and then you want to select this other one, control points. And that's to drag out the curve to make it curve. So if you want smooth corners, you can select these points and make them however smooth you want. You can even make them go up and down if you do this. So you can do really cool stuff with this. But we're gonna keep it simple and just make all the corners smooth. If you drag it out further, more smooth and less smooth the closer they are. Now we have a pretty good path and see now that the particle stopped working when I move back so I'll fix that real quick. Okay apparently it was somehow that I accidentally went into wireframe view. Display wireframe I don't know how but yes that was confusing. Now the path works so there's one more thing I want to teach you about path and that's to close the path. Right now it's not closed so if you hit this one close curve it will close the curve now it's just one and that's what we want because then it can go in a loop all around so let's animate this and go into the animation player and make a new animation and new then we want it let's say five seconds for it to travel around the curve select the path follow and make a key on frame zero and progress zero and hit this key one and create then we go to the 5 second mark and make a 1 and make a key for that. Now if we play this curve, it will look like this. The particle doesn't update fast enough for it to show, so I'm gonna decrease the lifespan to 1 second. And that way it will be more noticeable. You can also, I like doing this to all animations, similar to that we curve the path, this will curve the animation and making it cubic does that. It will just make the animation look more smooth. It probably doesn't look that different, but uh, it will make the animation more smooth. That's basically how you can make a 3D particle follow a path 3D in Godot and how to animate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.